And please welcome the Assistant Professor of Legal Studies at Colorado Christian University, Dr. Jenna Ellis. Good morning. Thank you all so much for coming and for participating in this event where it is so important to protect and preserve religious liberty and freedom of conscience here in America. I am so proud to be a professor at Colorado Christian University that stands with Jack. I'm so proud to be an allied attorney here in Colorado with Alliance Defending Freedom that represents Jack. We are here today to celebrate our first freedoms. This case is not about a cake. It goes to the core of who we are as human beings made in the image of God and have to recognize and understand and answer life's most critical questions. Who are we? Why are we here? Who is God? What does he want from me? Our founders understood that our first freedoms enshrined in our constitution, preserved and protected through our Bill of Rights, are the right to fundamentally have freedom of conscience and understand what it is we believe about the common human experience. Without freedom of speech, we couldn't talk about God. Without freedom of association, we couldn't be here today to talk to each other about God. And ultimately, without free exercise of religion and worship and freedom of conscience, we couldn't speak and associate to commonly understand and promote God in society. This case goes to the core of who we are. Our founders recognized that truth is, it is discoverable. As C.S. Lewis wrote in Mere Christianity and the Abolition of Man, our rights come from our creator and our founders recognized and unanimously preserved that in our Declaration of Independence. They said, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. They're endowed by our creator, not our government, with certain unalienable rights. And we are here to celebrate the unalienable right of freedom of conscience, and freedom to believe and to worship. The message here today is to ensure that our government also understands its proper role and scope. Our government is mandated by our Declaration of Independence not to coerce or to compel speech that we disagree with, not to coerce or compel a religious belief, but rather to protect and preserve the rights that we already have, pre-existing government, because we are each individually human beings made in the image of God. Jack has become an icon for this belief. And I am so proud of the stand that he is taking for Christ. I hope that all of us today will be encouraged and emboldened to understand our unalienable rights, to preserve and protect our liberty and freedom in America because this is not a religious issue. This is not just a conservative issue. This isn't even just a Colorado issue. This is an American issue. Where is our country headed? I am so proud to live in a country that has since 1787 protected and preserved our unalienable rights and recognized that truth is ultimately. So whether it is one person like Jack or we had tens of millions of people in this congregation and this association today, truth does not change. Our rights do not change. And ultimately truth remains. So Jack, we love you because you are our friend we respect you because of the stand that you are taking for Christ. And ultimately, we support you because freedom of conscience is your unalienable right. May God grant you favor with the United States Supreme Court. Thank you.